Welcome to this Excel tutorial where we'll explore effective methods to limit rows and columns. In this session, we'll delve into two distinct approaches. The conventional, hiding rows and columns feature and the more dynamic, VBA, method. Whether you prefer simplicity or customization, we've got you covered. Let's get started. Now, let's explore a more advanced method using Visual Basic for applications. This powerful scripting language allows for customized automation, offering a dynamic way to limit rows and columns based on specific criteria or conditions. Assuming that you have a worksheet, and you want to allow other people to edit your worksheet only, but you do not want them to add more rows or columns. So you need to limit the number of rows and columns in your worksheet. You can temporarily prevent other people from scrolling below a certain row and column. And how to disable scrolling below a specific row and column. You can use the scroll area property of the worksheet to limit the range of usable rows and columns. Just do the following steps. Right-click on your worksheet tab at the bottom of your worksheet. And click View Code menu from the pop-up menu list. And the Visual Basic for Applications window will open. Click View menu in the Visual Basic for Applications window. And then click Properties window menu from the drop-down menu list. And the Properties window will be shown. Find the Scroll Area property in the list of worksheet properties. Click in the empty box to the right of the scroll area label. And type the range of cells that you want to display. Press Ctrl plus S keys and save the worksheet. And then close the Visual Basic for Applications window and return the worksheet. You will be unable to scroll past the row number you typed into the scroll area text box. And all other rows are also be locked. Let's see the second method. This straightforward technique allows you to limit the visibility of specific rows and columns, decluttering your Excel workspace without permanently removing any data. You can also try to hide all other rows and columns to achieve the same result of limiting rows and columns in your worksheet. For example, if you need to hide the rows and columns outside the range A1, C4, just do the following steps. Number 1 Click the row 5 to select the entire row. Press Shift plus Ctrl plus down arrow keys in your keyboard to select all rows from row 5 to the bottom of the worksheet. Right-click on the selected rows and choose Hide from the pop-up menu list. Click on the column D to select the entire column. And press Shift plus Ctrl plus right arrow keys in your keyboard to select all rows from column D to the bottom of the worksheet. Then right-click on the selected columns and choose Hide from the pop-up menu list. You will see that all rows and columns outside the range A1, C4 will be hidden. Choose the method that best suits your needs, whether it's the simplicity of hiding rows and columns or the dynamic control offered by VBA scripting. These techniques ensure a more organized and efficient Excel experience. Subscribe for more insightful tutorials, and thanks for watching.